what is going on guys welcome back to the channel critical overlord here so we're talking about screen five again today we've had a few days to let that trailer marinate and a lot of us after viewing the trailer some of us were on two different sides on the side of it spoiled too much others were on the side of no there's no way they spoiled too much because again this is a fifth entry in this franchise being done by fans of the same franchise they're very familiar with the things that have happened in the past and we don't believe that they're intentionally spoiling a lot of stuff or trying to purposely reveal too much but they may in fact be purposely trying to mislead and now with a recent interview that radio silence had with bloody disgusting that has kind of been confirmed they had a sit down with bloody disgusting and when asked if it's safe to assume that the trailer includes important plot details as well as significant misdirection Bettinelli, Bettinelli open answers that it's that's a very safe assumption. They go on talking about this was a hard trailer for marketing to put together and they think that one of the things we're happy with is that anything you might think is a spoiler in this, there's a good chance that you're wrong. There are misdirects within the movie, there are misdirects within the trailer. For us, that's just the fun of the whole thing to make this a big whodunit. Spoilers suck, but the fun as fans is to talk about who might be the killer, then go to then to go through it forensically to try to find out and see if you can win the game, basically. So just that last little comment there, that really speaks to me a lot in the sense of I know there's a lot of people out there who will actively go on YouTube, actively go on anything that has to do with Scream, or they'll, they'll actually purposely search for Scream stuff. They'll watch a video where someone is speculating or... <laughs> trying to share a theory and then after listening to the video that they didn't no one forced them to do that they go into the comment section to leave you know a, a comment about you know you're you're ruining the the fun of this and no the fun of this is not simply being surprised the fun of it comes from being able to go through see if you can figure it out before watching it sitting down and seeing if you were right or wrong or to seeing how right or wrong you were and seeing how if you were wrong even if you're not getting what you thought how well executed is it even if you know the movie top to bottom i've said this plenty of times knowing the movie top to bottom that's not the defining factor for a movie being good or bad how does this translate on screen you can be reading the best script ever because to you you're reading the best script ever because your mind is letting you depict all of these things and imagine these things that you're reading in different ways how they could play out but when you sit down and watch the movie it could play out completely different from what you saw in your head which could be very lackluster it could be incoherent compared to how coherent it read on on paper you know there's a lot of different variables knowing a movie top to bottom is not the defining factor of how good it is it, that's not how it works that's not how the screen movies work <laughs> the screen movies always have been a, a series where you should have fun speculating have fun talking about who or what may not be the killer who may or may not be the killer who's going to live who's going to die uh what will the motive be will there be multiple killers so many different things and variables that go into it. what are what are the uh, returning characters going to be like now so many different things that have made these movies fun it's not all about the element of surprise the element of surprise might be for you but it's not for everyone so going back to the misdirects you know that is something that you know some of us were already kind of key on we knew that with the movie being made by fans of this franchise why would they purposely go out of their way to just show a bunch of stuff that is 100 percent factual and 100 percent 100 percent going to play out the way that we've just now seen one of the misdirects that i'm pretty certain of because i think he's going to live despite us visibly seeing him getting attacked in the trailer we won't know 100 percent until we sit down and watch the movie chad meeks martin getting attacked uh looks like he's getting stabbed and he looks like while he's running from ghostface he's already pretty injured and banged up from a previous encounter with ghostface i'm assuming early on so it looks like he's getting finished off when he's screaming and then we see ghostface running at him and of course presumably lunging a knife into him i can only assume that that's one of the misdirects i might be wrong but i believe that's one of the misdirects i think he's going to make it out of this movie alive the other thing that's important is the dialogue again from Miss Melissa Barrera's character Sam when they're sitting in the couch with Dewey and talking about how the pattern of the killings have been. They've all been attacks of attacks on old on the victims have all been attacked and their relatives of the original killers. The killers are attacking relatives of the original killers, these new killers. So hearing that, you have to ask, okay, well, how is Vince? since we know kyle gowner plays a character named vince in the movie how is vince related to billy or Stu? we know dewey isn't related to them or so we hope not 
the other person we see getting attacked in the trailer is outside of knowing how the how the martins are already factoring because they're related to randy the other person we see getting attacked is jenna ortega's character tara tara how is she related to billy or Stu? one you have to ask yourself you have to consider this she's too young we know that tara is supposed to be in high school there's a lot of 18 year old characters in this movie tara's too young that's a misdirect because of the fact that you know many people won't catch on to that so you'll you'll have them asking questions well how is tara related to billy or Stu? the misdirect there is she's not it's probably her sister sam or richie who's related to billy or Stu. since those two characters are supposed to be around the ages of 24 and 25 and in, they're making it a big deal about the about this film taking place 25 years later etc so you know something apparently happened 25 years ago that's going to be brought up now uh so it's it's the the misdirect of us thinking that tara is related to them when really it's her sister or richie her boyfriend the other misdirect is tara herself being visibly shown as the opening kill or we think she is if you look at the trailer there's a point there's a moment in the hospital prior to ghostface having an encounter with dewey where someone is shown in a wheelchair there's also a spot in the trailer where someone is shown getting their legs stomped on now from jenna ortega's character attire shown throughout the trailer it's safe to assume that she's the one getting her legs stomped on she makes it out of the opening alive and that's her in the wheelchair that's just what i'm piecing together that's her in the wheelchair throughout this movie whether or not she'll actually make it out alive i'm a little on the fence there i want to believe she will make it out of this movie alive but i know that putting your character in a wheelchair and then showing us ghostface from behind stalking them that kind of puts things into a uh i'm not too sure you're gonna make it out of this alive but i i hope she does because she looks like she's giving her all in that opening and for her to be the the very first person to not only survive the opening attack but then make it out of the whole movie alive i think that would be a very big deal for the series or for this latest entry there's a lot of things that you are assuming is going to be the case that they're going to just flip on your head that's what i took away the most from that statement and i hope they continue that all the way throughout the movie of course there's a lot of parallels but there's a lot of things that you are going to assume is the case that they already know you're going to assume and they're going to flip it on its head let me know what you guys think about this down in the comment section below if you haven't already of course make sure you subscribe turn on post notification in this video in the description i have links to my social media accounts my facebook twitter and instagram you can message me there of course if there's any movies news or reviews you'd like me to cover in the future and with all that in mind guys i will see you in the next video.